Okay. Well, recording is in progress. This is Andrew Williams Jr. And thanks for joining us with this edition of Conversations with Andrew Williams Jr. Today we're live streaming this to Facebook, to the Ayakba Network. And this is being recorded for rebroadcast on the Ayakba TV Network. You can reach me at ayakbatv at gmail.com. But now I have the pleasure to stop sharing my screen and introduce you to Jackson Dukba. And please uh, make sure I spell your, say your name correctly. Introduce yourself, Jackson, and let's go from there. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much uh, for having me uh, to, uh, uh, with you today. So I am from uh, Bhutan, and Bhutan is a very small country in Asia, and my name is uh, Jackson Dukpa. So my real name is Chiku Dukpa, but uh, for the last uh, 10 years or so, uh, I am mostly known as Jackson Dukpa. So Bhutan, a small country in Asia, uh, is the only carbon negative country in the world. Well, that's an amazing beginning. Uh, this conversation actually began on WhatsApp. So I'm gonna share my screen and, or you can share your screen, give us an introduction of, tell us what you want the world to know. That would be a good place to start. Yeah, so I don't have anything to share, uh, share my screen, okay? So I'll be talking and uh, telling a bit about myself. So I always wanted to do something for the world because uh, I can see that, uh, you know, the world is suffering so much. Millions and millions of people, they don't have good opportunities. And uh, they're really struggling to even live. So uh, like lately, you can see even the 21st century, there are war happening right now in Ukraine. So there are so many sad things. And uh, instead of fighting each other, I really feel that uh, we should actually uh, fight our common enemy, like poverty, hunger, climate change. There are so many very, very far more, you know, uh, important issues to deal with. And uh, of course, uh, what I've seen over the years is that uh, there are so many uh, millions of, uh, you know, people trying to do something for their good for this world and also thousands of organizations. But unfortunately, our world is not getting better. So this is the biggest gap that I have seen and uh, why the world is not getting better, okay? We are not a united force. We are not coming together and working towards our common goal of creating a better world. So that's why I came up with this idea of global village connection. And my sole intention is to first unite the people of the world. And I'm really looking to unite at least 300 to 500 million by end of this year, if not by at least another one and a half year. So we can create that unified global force so that together we can change and create a better world, okay? So that's what I'm doing right now. Excellent. Well, thank you so much. Now, is it possible now, uh, is there a place on Facebook where you have a place where people can find you or can connect with you? Yeah, Tell I us. Think, yeah. I, am, I am available on Facebook as Jackson Dupa only. So we have created a page for a Global Village Connection, but we are not using that one. Now we are trying to, trying to gather people on WhatsApp. And I right now have more than uh, 2,000 WhatsApp group. And we are building our network and teams, different kinds of teams for different teams and different, uh, you know, like agenda, okay? So yeah, in more than 150 countries, we are building our network. For example, in Africa, uh, there are 55 countries, I believe, and we are already connected with more than 50 countries, okay? Just few countries left, maybe two or three to connect uh, the people. So actually, we are really, really building a very, very huge global network. Of course, uh, uh, we are not so much known right now globally, but uh, the people of the world uh, really, you know, like GVC is really, uh, really making this a global movement. And I'm also the founder of a collaborative platform called Better World Alliance. The idea is very simple. Uh, we want to bring all this organization together, okay? Even if people are organization, don't join, join GVC, they can join this collaborative platform called Better World Alliance. So that uh, together we can share our ideas, knowledge, and we can help each other in doing uh, some specific kind of work. So uh, we are 
basically now, uh, you know, like uh, gathering ourselves in WhatsApp. And very soon, very soon, we would like to come up with our own social media. Okay, so and this social media is very going uh, be going to be very very special because this social media that I'm going to create is going to be owned by the people of the world, including you and me. Yeah. Well, I noticed on your Facebook page, you also have right now something called uh, the TV network. So can you tell us a little bit of, is that what you mean to have your 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 social media on 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 uh, a TV? Or tell, me, tell us a little bit about what you have in mind. No, just now is just a plan. Once we build this global network, okay? So we will be coming up with our own social media. And then uh, what we really want to ha have is our own uh, television network, okay? So that we can bring all those advocacy programs, educational programs, okay? Like for example, uh, we want to educate the farmer, farmers around the world about sustainable farming and all these things. So we would like to bring all this knowledge the aggregated knowledge of the world from different countries, okay? So this, the best way is to do is to have our own uh, like uh, media house. Uh, when I'm telling about the media house, we are not uh, going to, you know, like uh, have news and all these things, but basically the advocacy programs, we would like to teach people how to be healthy, okay? Yeah, many people are struggling with this uh, health problems and lifestyle problems. So these are the kind of things that we would like to bring and we would like to bring every knowledge from every corner of the world so that it can be accessible by all people, okay? And we, what, we would like to target the grassroots people. For example, in Africa, we are building so many different kinds of networks in different countries like Nigeria, Kenya, Ghana, so many countries. Almost, uh, I think, 52 countries of Africa are connected with GVC network. So my idea is to bring the people, and this is the kind of uh, like uh, 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 philosophy or concept that I'm promoting. Uh, now uh, we realize that no government of the day in any country can solve all the problems of the society. So the people must come together, and we should be the ones. Uh, not uh, only creating problems, but we we should take the lead role in solving the problems, and we must also sh show the way to the governments around the world. How to do we take action? How do we uh, combat you know like hunger, poverty, and climate change? Yeah. Well, thank you so much. I just got off an interview right now. <clears throat> what I'm, what I'm championing is something called the United Nations Global Compact. Now, as you know, right now we're in what's called the Sustainable Development Goals phase. It was yes, actually yes. Bhutan, it was actually Bhutan and Indonesia and the uh, Asian society, <clears throat> excuse me, Asian community that did the most for 20, 2000 through 2015 to deliver the first set of the Millennium Development Goals. You guys actually documented the success that you had and provided a framework so that we can move forward. What I'm suggesting, Jackson, is that we take on the role that these worldwide organizations claim they want to do. Right now, they're claiming to spend $130 trillion between now and the end of the decade to accomplish the Sustainable Development Goals to leave no one behind. You and I know that that will never work without the involvement of the grassroots community. So what I'm Thank asking you. you, so what I'm asking you to do, is join my effort. Right now, there are 13,000 major multinational corporations who actually have a budget larger than countries, but they have published what they claim they want to do. I'm suggesting that we actually do the work and let them get the credit, and we all leave no one behind. By that, I mean this. There are over 13,000 major multinational corporations, but there are only 3,000 what they call civil society organizations. Now that includes not just nonprofit organizations and interfaith organizations like churches, but also labor associations and what you yourself have done, a business association. So here's the idea. Right now, for example, in the United States, we as a country are falling behind 
in achieving any of the 17 sustainable development goals for over half of the population. No state in the United States is even halfway to accomplishing the sustainable development goals. But the ones that are left furthest behind are the underserved communities. They're the people of African descent, also the indigenous people here, the Native Americans and the Latinx community. So Jackson, what I'm suggesting is that you and I make a commitment to do is add another 10,000 small businesses, nonprofit organizations, not just to join the United Nations and say, oh yeah, we, we have numbers. We want to manage and mobilize these efforts so that we can collectively work together to deliver solutions from the ground up. That's what I heard you say. I think I yeah. see that you began this in 2018. So this is something that I think you're gonna be doing for the rest of your life. This is something I'm gonna yeah. be doing for the rest of my life. So yeah. let's get together. And is that something we can do together? What do you think? Yeah, so uh, let me go a little beyond, you know, like what I have just introduced, okay? Actually, uh, what I have seen is that uh, the 17 sustainable development goals are there, okay? 2030 agenda. But what I have seen, and there are so many other people are organized trying to create this advocacy of the sustainable development goal. And I have been attending so many meetings, webinars, seminars, and all the things. But for me, I'm more interested to, uh, you know, take actions, okay? Yeah, not just talk. And uh, right now, I don't think there is a global, you know, like framework to take action. So that's what I'm focusing. That's why uh, we, GVC has uh, 22 special wings. And one of the special wings is uh, the Climate and Sustainability Club, which I added very recently. I'm already building the team. And there are already people on the ground to take actions. But these poor people, there's no one to support them, OK? Yeah. People are just meeting and yeah, this one. For me, I am building the ground team, ground army, so that we we create actually zero hunger by 2027. We are not going to wait 2030. It, if we have the funds, all we need is just three years, okay, to cultivate something. And then, yeah, and uh, especially for the USA, your country, okay, there are a lot of homeless people, and the kind of society that uh, we have right now, this doesn't take care of the people, you know? So we need a system, okay? To, so that people can fall back. And when they go to the cities, they don't have a place to stay, they have problems. That's why I have a very special project, especially for the United States of America, okay? I would like to create something called, like this is a community development project, okay? Where anybody can come there, stay there as long as they want, leave uh, anytime they want, okay? And this is going to be something very different. There, uh, we are going to grow our own food. We are going to uh, come up with our own skilling programs, okay? And also uh, to do mentorship and build the future citizens of the world, okay? So that is something very, very different. But what we really need to do is now, the most important thing is we need to take climate action, and also achieve global food security, okay? So we are not going to wait, as I said, uh, until 2030. That's why I am in the process of creating 100 million farmers, okay? I'm reaching out to every corner of uh, the world, trying to unite the farmers. Of course, it's difficult without activities on the ground, but still with my idea, I, I think I have become now, you know, like I am the winner, okay? I have come with so many people. Already, I think about uh, half, more than half a million people are already there. In the next next uh, three or four months, at least we would like to unite 50 million people, okay? And by the end of this year, we should be able to unite at least 50 million farmers from all over the world, including countries uh, from uh, South America, Latin America, and mostly from, uh, you know, like uh, Africa. So yeah, everything I have worked out, and I'm also going to propose to the world something called smart and uh, safe waste management system. All these climate change problems, all these health hazards, all are caused by you know, our inability to manage the waste. Managed 
the waste, okay? Problems in this world. We can solve 50% of the problem of the world, okay? So I had many things to share actually. And uh, yeah, so I, I took a lot of time over the last two years or so to come up with complete, uh, you know, set of solutions, okay? So uh, I think that uh, we have all the, GVC have all the solutions to create a better world. And uh, we have to do that, uh, not in another 10, 20 years, okay? In the next five years, we have to create a better world for everyone. Well, I am fully supporting your efforts. Just to let you know, uh, in two weeks, we're actually having a workshop where we want to grow farmers. <laughs> Instead of growing food, we're going to grow farmers who actually are the yes. ones that grow the food. So I want to invite you to participate with that event. And I want you to invite all of your team to also use this as a showcase for us to move together forward around the world. Just tell me how many farmers you want from how many countries. I'll do that. Well, yeah. here's the thing. We want you to be appearing. We want the farmers to actually tune in so they can begin to understand how we can work together. You tell me you have a registration process. How can we share with people a way to begin to register with the work you're doing? Okay. Now, as I said, we just have the WhatsApp group. So in the next six months or so, we would like to create our own chat platform which is going to accommodate at least 5,000 people in one group. Right now, on the WhatsApp, we can only entertain 256 or 57 people. So yeah, uh, anyhow, our network is going to grow and we would like to have our own chat platform, okay? So that's what I'm looking at, you know, developing this uh, chat platform in the next six months. Uh, uh, yeah, as I said, yeah, our network is uh, in more than 150 countries, but uh, we have the farmers, almost all the, you know, countries in Africa are connected. So uh, it's not just one or two people. We are building the entire team, okay? Yeah, at the national level. So yeah, this is a very, very huge network that we are building. So yeah, for your event uh, in two weeks, I can bring on board as many as, you know, 500 farmers from around the world. But yes. just tell me how fun. I can I can mobilize any number of farmers. Let's say 500 as a number. Uh, right here, I'll put in the chat the link. All they have to do is register. So we know that they'll be coming in advance. We can actually prepare for that. And you can have an opportunity to address those farmers yourself at the event. So we can make sure we're all working together to get this thing done. Yeah. Okay, so let's, 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 let's have one more uh, Zoom meeting just between you and me to understand, okay? and. We can yeah. share in, you know, what I'm sharing right now is uh, very something, you know, like not even half of what, uh, you know, like I really want to share. So we can have one more meeting just between you and me. Yeah. And then, yeah, I will also yeah prepare something, you know, more concrete plans uh, and my, you know, like a global vision and everything. Like. Excellent. Well, thank you so much. Uh, this has been almost 30 minutes. So I'm going to wrap this up now. Jackson, I'll send you a copy of this. And we'll follow up after this. I really appreciate your time and effort and want to let the world know that we're working together to get this thing done. So I look forward to working and networking with you. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Okay.